three things happened to the irritated smaller airways in an asthma attack. Firstly, the airways become more swollen. Secondly, the mucus glands make more mucus, causing a lot more secretions. Thirdly, the muscles around the outside of the airways tighten. All these make it harder to breathe. The good news is that the medication you can take can treat all this and help you get back on track. An asthma attack will feel different for every person. Your own asthma attack may be different every time you have one. It's important to understand the signs of asthma flare-up. Feeling tighter in the chest? I get a very, very tight feeling in my chest. It's like I've got a big, tight ball in my chest. Well, if I'm having an asthma attack, I, I certainly feel tight in the chest. Well, my little boy is only two, so he can't really describe what's happening to his chest, so he just tells me that there's an elephant sitting on his chest. Then I know that. He's got a tight chest, yeah. When I have my asthma, I feel tight in my chest and it feels like someone's sit sitting on me. Hearing yourself cough and wheeze when you breathe. Get heavy wheezing, uh, feel tired, I need to sit down and take a rest. I call it my music in my chest. I get a rattle, yeah. it rattles in my chest. The wheezing starts and it seems to be uncontrollable. Um, I certainly have a, a bit of coughing. When he gets asthma, he seems to be running around a lot in the cold weather and he coughs and wheezes a lot. Feeling distressed and anxious or that your asthma is getting out of control. And I find the night times the worst. I get really panicky then. And. Um, Anxious. I feel really anxious when I've got a, when my asthma's coming on. But it feels like I'm very upset. Yes, I get worried. And it's hard to breathe. Others may notice that you are working harder to breathe and that you are more comfortable sitting up. And I find I have to prop myself up in bed and I have to leave the light on because I feel the room is closing in on me. Finding it more difficult to do your daily activities or exercise because you run out of breath. Well, when my asthma is getting worse, I find it very difficult to exercise because it's very difficult to breathe. Well, I find I, I love my sport, but I can't go to golf, to play golf. Uh, when I'm well, I can play golf, I can uh, usually go for a walk. I do avoid walking up hills, but I can go for a walk. I can do my housework. Sometimes when I run around, I get puffed out while I'm doing exercise. More difficult to breathe, and you might not be able to speak for as long as usual without taking a breath. Waking during the night or earlier than normal in the morning and still feeling tired in the morning. Because your body is working harder to breathe, you might feel hot and sweaty. Using your blue reliever puffer more than normal, or it is not as effective as usual. If you notice any of these signs, you need to follow your asthma action plan and talk to your doctor. People who ignore the early warning signs or delay using their asthma action plan can develop a severe asthma attack. It's better to treat an asthma flare-up early, rather than wait until it becomes more severe and life-threatening. Monitoring your asthma and following your asthma action plan can ensure that you can learn to live a normal healthy life without being troubled by your asthma.